Hello! Today we're going to be talking about the Orion XT8 Classic Dobsonian. This little Dobsonian is currently running for about $389. You can occasionally get it on special. And it's 8 inches of aperture. It's the perfect size for taking out to most dark sites. Um, it's easy to lift. Doesn't matter. You don't have to be really strong. It's not a big deal. It comes apart into two pieces. The really nice thing about these is Orion has made a really good name for itself with customer service and for robust products. This product right here is a couple of years old and it's been a really good Dobsonian. It has taken several bangs and beat ups and, and has not given me any problems. That's the good side. The bad side to it is they're not quite as well equipped as some of the others such as Zoom L for example. It has an inch and a quarter single speed rack and pinion focuser as compared to some of the newer ones which have a dual speed Crayford. That's okay, for most viewing this will be more than sufficient. As far as a finder scope goes, this one is equipped with a red dot finder. I don't really understand that decision because a red dot finder is very difficult to use in a Dobsonian. When you get it up high like this, you're way down trying to get a good bead on it. I don't understand that. The Zoom L's and most of the other brands will use a right angle finder, something like an 8x50. Now of course this you can always replace. The downside to it is, at least in this model, to replace it you have to remove these screws and pull the finder off. That's not exactly a normal mount. It's a little plastic type mount. And it's great because it comes down and goes off all right and it's easy to adjust, but it's not a standard mount. Even the Zoom L's and other Chinese and Japanese brands are all using standard mounts. Now I find that funny because if you buy something like uh, an Orion, Orion Red Dot or most of the, including Orion, uh, 8x50s or other right angle finders, they won't just bolt onto here. Now, the good news is they make an adapter that goes on here that will convert it. So that's not that big of a deal. Newer models may have taken care of that. Now, this one, like most Orion telescopes in this price range, comes with two inch and a quarter uh, eyepieces. A 25 millimeter puzzle and a 9 millimeter puzzle. The 25 is not bad. For what it is, and for this price range, it's not a bad eyepiece. It's pretty sharp. It's reasonable. The 9mm, in my opinion, is, is not something you want to try and use. It's a little bit too much power for this particular scope, at least where I'm viewing. So I would rather have something like maybe a 12mm, and I would jump up to something that's not a puzzle. I'm not a real big fan of that. Now when you get up into 25mm, it's not that big a deal. For open clusters and stuff, it will still provide very good views. Now, of course, they've got a little holder on the side for your eyepieces. Attaching the, the telescope to the base is fairly straightforward. It has a spring here and a little pull tab, which makes it easy to do. The downside to that is it's really not adjustable. The tension is provided uh, by two little white tabs under here that I think are some kind of Teflon that provide a smooth surface. Now even though this is just spring loaded, it does move pretty smooth, but it's not adjustable. So if you were to put another uh, focuser on here and say a big heavy two inch uh, eyepiece, this would tend to, to go over pretty easily and there's not a lot you can do about it. It does have a nice handle which makes it easy to, to carry the base once the tube is separated and once the tube is, is detached it's reasonably light and, come, and comes off without a problem. This thing holds collimation very good although you will have to buy a collimator separately as it does not come with one. For $389 I believe I would buy the Zoom L instead of this. However, if you got one of these, especially second hand like I did with this, it still makes for a heck of a telescope and will last you many, many years. If you do decide to get one of these, please use the link down below. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching.